welcome back to another video. My name is Manny, in case you're new here, or welcome back. As the title suggests, today I'm going to be showing you what a typical morning looks like for me from the moment I wake up. Right now, I wake up at 6.30 a.m. This gives me lots of time to relax in the morning and not feel rushed, and personally, I'm a morning person, so that's what works for me. Right after I wake up, I don't check my phone and I head straight to the bathroom. I start off by washing my face with the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I want to do a skincare routine or skincare journey video sometime soon, so I'm going to go over my skincare pretty quickly here. After washing my face, I use the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid and apply the Ordinary Niacinamide. These products have been game changers for my skin, and I have found that consistently using them in a routine has improved my skin so much. After washing my face, I let all the serums dry on my face while I brush my teeth. This part is pretty self-explanatory, hopefully. And the last thing that I do in the bathroom is that I apply the Super Goop Sunscreen. I've been doing this every day because I want to protect the skin on my face and I highly suggest you do it as well. After I finish up in the bathroom, I go and make my bed. I think I've read in like a bajillion places that making your bed is the keystone habit to increasing productivity in your day. I totally agree and making my bed has been such an important habit for me just to get my day started and to also make sure I don't go back into bed during the day. Then I get onto my daily morning meditation. Now I only implemented this into my routine in 2021, so I've only been doing this relatively recently, but I love it. I follow the daily meditation podcast on Spotify and there's a new meditation episode every single day that you can listen to. Meditation is the perfect way to start your day off with a clear mind. Usually I will focus on my breath, but if my mind is super full that morning, I'll think about the itinerary I have for the day and all the things that I need to get done. Now on to breakfast. I don't like to eat a ton in the morning and have more recently switched to eating more frequent meals throughout the day that are smaller than regular meals. That being said, I always start my day with a cup of coffee and a yogurt parfait. It's currently 6.50. I just came downstairs and finished up my meditation, but I am going to prepare my breakfast now. I've also been listening to a podcast in the morning typically. Since today is Wednesday, I'm going to listen to the new Pretty Basic episode while I make breakfast and stuff like that. For my yogurt parfait, I use vegan oat-based yogurt topped with a chia seed blend, granola, and bananas. It's perfect for filling me up in the morning and isn't too heavy that I feel sluggish or heavy after my meal. And as I said earlier, I've gotten into listening to podcasts in the morning. Usually my go-to's are pretty basic, Wild Till 9, Anything Goes, and The Mindset Mentor. After eating, I'll wash the dishes and head back upstairs to my room. As you can tell, I'm back in my room and the next part of my morning routine is that I do a little bit of journaling. I found that doing journaling in the morning makes it really easy to make it a consistent habit so that I can do it all the time if I did it at night or when I did it at night in the past I was always really tired at night I would never want to do it just because like I was just so exhausted by the end of the night so doing it in the morning has helped me make it really regular and I've been doing it every day since COVID started honestly so like a year ago um, and I've been journaling a lot more recently, just like been writing a lot more because I don't know, I've been really liking it. And usually I'll just talk about like the previous day, anything that I've been thinking about, some big themes that I've been going on in my mind that I have been thinking about. But yeah, fresh page, I'm gonna start writing. 
Journaling has been a habit that I've been doing since early high school, but if you're not a consistent journaler, I would suggest by starting small. Start with a notepad and just write a simple sentence that recaps your day, and then eventually you can build up into longer entries that focus on deeper topics. After journaling, I change into my workout clothes because I have found that I'm more productive during the day when I'm not in my pajamas. All right, it's a little bit later. I actually like to spend a lot of my morning just chilling. Um, so I do wake up really early, but a lot of the day or in the morning, I spend just doing whatever I like because I feel like the worst thing that can happen in a morning routine is when you're so go, 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 go that you don't even get a second to breathe. So a lot of my time after I eat breakfast and journal, I just spend watching YouTube or doing whatever I like in the morning, whatever I have to do. And I uh, don't feel like I have to get rushed into anything right away because I feel like that's the worst thing. And it really sets your day off in, a, in like a bad way, in my opinion. But it is currently 8.47. I've been doing this thing for the last like year, honestly, where I section off my morning with a, the same routine every day. So I usually get in like about two hours of work before I do anything else. And this is like the same when I was in school doing anything like in class studying so usually I will get work done for two hours in the morning from 9 to 11 and then afterwards I will have a little break so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now getting ready to edit my video for next week and get that all prepared and stuff like that so I will get to it I love to get work done in the morning because that is when my motivation and discipline is the highest I usually like to use the Pomodoro technique, which I've talked about a lot in previous videos, and this involves setting a timer to do work for 25 minutes and then a break for 5 minutes. This is flexible, of course. I enjoy doing 45 minutes of work with a 15 minute break as well, or 20 minutes of work with a 10 minute break. Honestly, just do whatever works best for you and maximizes your productivity. Okay, I finished up editing for the morning. I went for like two hours and got a lot of work done, finished up my video, and I'm just about to get ready to work out. I usually do home workouts still, just because uh, COVID cases have been kind of high in Vancouver recently, so doing a YouTube workout. I think I'm gonna do this one today by Mad Fit. I love Mad Fit's workouts. I love her dance party workouts, but today I'm gonna do something a little more strength, and I'll see how it goes. My workouts have gotten to become one of my favorite parts of the day. The key is to find workouts that you enjoy. And this sounds pretty simple, but I always get caught up in the length of my workouts, if it is intense enough, and all these random things like if I'm burning enough calories. But seriously, just focus on doing workouts that you enjoy. That is the key and everything else will follow after. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And I was like, yo... Oh, 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 oh,